Today we'll be installing a stop molding for an interior door. These door stop moldings are very easy to replace if they get damaged. This one is about 3 8 of an inch by 1 and a quarter by 81 tall. It will be replaced with a solid pine pre-prime molding you can pick up at any hardware store. I've already removed the damaged one and scraped and sanded the door jam. I've also cut the new one by measuring the width of the inside top of the jam first and cut the 45 angles on each end. Then cut the angles on top of the side moldings as well. You'll end up with a short piece for the top of the door and two longer pieces for the sides like these. So we start installing the top molding first and with the door closed, position the molding across the jam and flush against the closed door. Then keeping the door ajar just a little bit to have room for the nail gun, nail it to the door frame. Next, place the uh, molding on the door knob side, fit it flush with the door and the top molding, then nail it in. Then do the same on the inch side of the door frame. Keeping the stopper molding even and centered against the door jam opening, start nailing it from the top. And it's a good idea to close the door after shooting each nail or so, maybe two, to make sure it's nice and flush against it. When you're done, the closed door should rest nicely inside the jam. Next we put some caulk in the joints to fill the fine line between the molding and the door jam and it will be ready for paint. And don't forget to wipe off the caulk that got squeezed outside the joints. A damp sponge is your best friend when caulking. As always, I hope this helps someone out there, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video, and you all have a great day.